Hey, you won't believe what's happening with a China-based bank that was supposed to de-dollarize global lending. Remember the BRICS nations? Well, they joined forces to create an alternative to the dollar-dominated financial world. But it seems like their master plan has hit a major roadblock. This development bank called the New Development Bank was established to challenge institutions like the IMF and reduce reliance on the almighty greenback. But here's the catch, the bank itself is struggling to repay its dollar debts. Let's dig into the details. Despite its mission to de-dollarize lending, the New Development Bank had to borrow a huge two-thirds of its funds in the good old USD. They had to borrow from Wall Street and Chinese lenders to fund loans for developing economies. But when Russia invaded Ukraine and Wall Street got cold feet, they didn't want to lend to a bank that had TIs to Moscow almost 20% owned by Russia. And the bank's new chief, Dilma Rousseff, stirs controversy. She had been impeached as Brazil's president. So, how does the new development bank navigate this treacherous terrain? Well, they resort to more expensive borrowings to service their existing debt. Their first bond issued after the Ukraine crisis was five times costlier than previous loans ringing up a shocking $1.5 billion bill. On a brighter note, the bank is in talks with Argentina, Saudi Arabia, and Honduras to become members. Will these new alliances help turn the tide? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and follow for more updates. Wikifs, a global broker regulatory inquiry app. See you soon.